it very wet. Okay, so this is the soap. That's the soap. Got it. This is a lovely system, by the way. I don't have anything quite this fancy at home. At home, we have big jugs that we fill with warm water, plug some shampoo in, and pour. So this is pretty nifty. You get the coat wet, and then you get the coat soapy. And the coat always looks darker, as if it's dirty when it's wet. It gets cleaner and whiter as it dries. You massage the soap into the cords to massage the dirt out of the cords. In goes the good soap, out comes the bad soap. And sometimes you scrub. Cards are very tough. And then the work starts, because getting the dog rinsed is really the key. You can't leave any soap in the coat, because the coat will then um, pick up dirt as it's drying, for starters, because soap is sticky, and so it, it picks up dirt, but also it's very bad for the skin. Now we start rinsing. Welcome how, back. <laughs> how long will it take for you to rinse cold? Um, I don't know. With this water pressure and this delivery system of clean water, it'll probably take us maybe 20 minutes to get him completely rinsed. Um, we didn't do the whole dog. How long will it take for him to dry? Well... We'll use a heavy force air dryer and we will try to muscle as much water out of the coat that we can. Once we get the coat to semi dampy, I mean we're not able to squeeze water out of it, nothing sprays when you you know you really get the coat damp. Um, at that point we can put him in a crate and put fans around him. We've got two force dryers going on the dog, and it's very noisy. And he, now we're getting the water out of the coat. We'll be here for probably another hour, and then we'll put him up in his cage with his fans around him so that he can get dry in the spring. The interesting thing about the drying process is that gravity is our friend. As he stands here, the water actually migrates down to the ends of the cord. So we keep squeezing the ends of the cords and powering the water out of the cords so that it goes away from the dog. We work an area, it's kind of damp, we go to another area, and then when we come back to the first area, the ends of the cords are wet again, so we squeeze and do it again. Okay, hi, now we're back. This is the final stage for a while. He's here, we put a bib on him to keep everything clean that could possibly be dragging on the floor. Everything's tucked in on the sides and underneath. We take the bib off so that everything's free and not, nothing's tied together so that all the coat is free and air can get to it. And then we put him in his crate. He wants, right here, there you go, good boy, in you go. Good job. And there's a fan next to it. We'll move the fan around it during the day. And he has something to say about it. He should probably be pretty, pretty dry by tonight, and by tomorrow he'll be fine. This wonderful man stopped by to see my dog, and I'm learning about the coat from him. <laughs> Even though I've had the breed for 40 years, this is absolutely spectacular, and I'm thrilled to death to meet him. Now, you've been working on this for how many years? 27 years. He's been working on his coat for 27 years. <laughs> this dog's coat's five years. We have a ways to go. <laughs> We're about an hour from ring time, and as you can tell, um, the dog is dry, completely dry, nice and clean. I'm thrilled with the way he came out. He looks really good. I'm going to start organizing the top line, getting the fuzzies down. I'm going to brush up and trim his feet, and we're just going to do general, general, um, see this all needs to be tidied up. And we're just going to do gen general grooming. I'm ready. Huh? Are you ready to go? Yeah. Oh boy. Watch it. Any pre-show jitters? No, not me. How's Cole doing? Uh, he's ready. <laughs> all right. Says, bring him on. <laughs> did today before the breed. We'll take his coat down, we'll tidy him up, we'll brush up his feet and his face, and we'll have him all ready to go into the group tonight. 